Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 10th, 2020. Well, today the new jobless numbers have come out and we've had 947,000 people apply for unemployment for the first time this year or in their lives total. I'm guessing this year alone. These, num these unemployment claim numbers are actually very high, sky skyrocketed up a lot. And in fact, they have increased by 229,000 from last, the week before. Um, unemployment numbers are rising, and yet there are still no signs of a stimulus bill or proposal being put into a bill. Isn't that just nice? They, they actually don't really care about the American people. They'd rather sit and squabble. Um, the good news is, is they did agree upon a one-week extension of the government funding bill that is due to be passed into law on the 18th. In other words, that's when they have to agree upon the government funding bill. And Mnuchin and Pelosi do wish to piggyback the stimulus package on the stimulus funding bill in hopes that it'll get a greater chance of passing. And it's just really weird. The, the hold up on the whole bipartisan stimulus package is a simple fact that basically um, the state and local government funding as well as the liability protection. Those are two main things that are holding up this stimulus package. Republicans want one thing, Democrats want the other, but they can't agree on both. So that's where we're having a major problem right now. Yesterday, Mitch McConnell accused the Democrats, or should I say Nancy Pelosi, of starting to cover relief. He said this is in response to Pelosi's rejection of the $916 billion proposal made by Steve Mnuchin. She rejected it because although it has stimulus checks in it, it didn't have any unemployment in it. Mitt said that Pelosi's rejections were childish and accused her of blocking unemployment aid for the people. <laughs> okay. No, no, let me review, review, uh, review for you. The $916 billion proposal came out by Steve Mnuchin has no unemployment aid in it at all. All it has is, is $600 of stimulus checks for the people. That's it. The nine hundred six, the $908 billion bill actually had unemployment, but no stimulus checks. So can't they make up their minds? I mean, the $908 billion one was from the um, bipartisan senators that came up with it. And they're thinking, hey, let's give unemployment to a little bit of people here because that's basically what is happening. Because as I reported in other broadcasts, just because you're unemployed does not mean you qualify for unemployment. In fact, I've had a few people on my other social media apps that I have out there. Well, apps, programs, whatever you want to call them. When I've made this exact comment, they actually said, well, thank you for seeing it our way. I see it their way because it's the truth. Just because you're unemployed doesn't mean you can get unemployment at all. I mean, there are people out there right now that are using up the unemployment and they don't even need it. I mean, let's see here. When I first started doing the stimulus updates, I'd say about, what was it, June? Well, I, when I, I actually got a viewer on my thing that said that she was making five grand a month off unemployment from the PUA and rate unemployment. And all she had was a $1,200 car pay, uh, rent payment and a $200 uh, insurance payment for her car. And is asking if she should get a job. Well, if she, if her job is run where you're at, you can get employed at. I suggest, I would told her that she should. Because basically, $5,000 a month unemployment, that's $30,000 she made in the six months on PUA. My God, I would love to make that much in six months. I'd be so happy. But the, but she's not going to be because if she, didn't, if she didn't have the taxes taken out of that PUA and the unemployment, she's going to owe a lot of money back taxes come this coming up uh, filing season. That's why everyone that got the, the extended unemployment as well as regular unemployment, if they didn't have their taxes taken out, they are going to be getting hit with a lot of taxes. But that's a topic for a different day. <laughs> Sorry about that. But like I said, there was no unemployment in the proposal that Mitch McConnell is accusing Mephlosi of rejecting, which is the $916 billion one. John Thune, number two Republican of the Senate, said yesterday on the, on the topic of stimulus checks, 
Most of the members of the of the Republican want the, the supercharged unemployment than rather giving out a stimulus check to the people, because at least it's going to the people without jobs. The unemployment part that is. Well, that's where he's wrong. As I talked about earlier, not everyone gets unemployment. You give a stimulus check, everyone will get a stimulus check unless people are stealing it. We'll just get to that point. But it's it's just funny with, with that with everything that's been going on here. I mean, McConnell basically blessed Mnuchin's proposal that don't have any unemployment in it. And in fact, I have a clip of Senator Manchin talking about stimulus. But we don't even have a bill yet. There's no indication. Yeah, you're from- getting close to one. We're the only ones doing anything. Nobody else is doing anything. You must and understand the people's all, we'll work frustration. All night tonight. We'll work all night tonight, Shepard. We've been working every night, 16, 18 hours. You think you'll have something that'll pass tomorrow or the next day? Well, basically, they extended it for next week. We're going through this thing, and we're going to have it done. We will. No one thought we would have anything that we brought out today. We brought 90% of a bill and showed you line by line. That's called basically a scheduled overview of what we're doing. And then they'll put the legislative language to it. And the bill becomes basically a bill, hopefully the first of the week. And then you vote on it. And Senator John, Josh Hawley said that if Congress can't agree on a stimulus package that by next week or by the end of by the beginning of next week, let's put it that way, that he will introduce a standalone bill for a second round of stimulus checks for $1,200 for the people. So Josh Hawley's actually thinking of the people because he's realizing that unemployment is not going to help. But stimulus check, direct payment to the people would since they worked out those bugs and errors from last time. Also, all 50 states have certified presidential election the presidential elections results, but however, Trump has filed a motion to join the state of Texas in their lawsuit. Attorney General Kim Paxton from Texas has filed a lawsuit to challenge the election results in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, and Washington. He is saying they have committed voter fraud. After Trump filed to join the lawsuit, 17 other states, including Missouri, Florida, Montana, South Carolina, and Utah. Yeah, okay. You can see on my face that I'm not really happy about the whole Utah thing because I've lived in Utah for most of my life. And I do know one thing about Utah. They're full of a bunch of greedy Mormons. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. A bunch of greedy Mormons. They don't they don't care about all the money that they're going to spend that they can be using to help keeping their citizens alive. They just want to put Trump back into power so he can screw over our economy and our country worse than he already has. That's all these other states are doing. And for everyone who's watching, I apologize. I am so ashamed that Utah's actually being so stupid as to be a butt kissing Trumper. Because trust me, I don't support Trump. I never have. I didn't like him when he was on the TV show Apprentice. I thought he was sort of much of a pompous ass. And with him being a bunch of a, a crybaby right lately over this whole election crap, he's only making himself look like a big old jackass and a whole lot worse. So that that's just my opinion, though. <sighs> I still can't believe it, though. I mean, these states, these 17 states that are joining in this lawsuit, they're, they're not paying attention to their citizens that are losing their houses or about to lose their houses because they haven't passed no stimulus check pass package yet. They have no money for to keep rent or utilities or to put food on the table to feed their families. They care more about, hey, let's follow Trump because we're hardcore Trump fans and we want to, well, I'm not going to go there, but you probably can get where I was going to go with that one. That's why I cut myself out at that point. These states need to realize that let Trump fight his own battles. This is Trump's battle. This isn't your battle. This isn't the state's battle. This isn't that state's battle. This is Trump's battle alone. Let him fight it even if he loses because he's going to anyways. But um, I better stop ranting and raving about Trump or else I'll never end this video. But um, at the end of the video, I'm actually going to put a... Uh, clip of the current COVID-19 cases that I have, I have uh, put a still shot basically before you guys to see, see, what it has, see how bad it is. 
but our current cases aren't good and our death totals are even worse. I mean, if I was to look on my phone where I actually have to have, I can find information quite easy. Um, let's see here. Our current, um, wow, 216,679 new cases as of yesterday, that were reported yesterday, with a total of 3,055 deaths. That's actually not good. I mean, come on, so far we've probably put in, oh my gosh, we're almost at 300,000 fatalities because of this disease, with 15.6 million infected. That's pretty bad. I mean, that's, I grant you, that's not 10, that's like 5% of the United States is infected with COVID-19. And that's pretty bad. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have a great Thursday. And remember to stay safe and that we're all in this together because basically we're all we got is each other. Be safe and be happy the best you can. Our broadcast again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,